Madam so, President. On the first part of your question, um, we have um, very carefully shaped the financial support for Ukraine. As you know, the 50 billion euro Ukraine facility that is there, and that we have now, in addition, the G7 loan um, that will give Ukraine already important relief uh, until 2026. And um, you know that we have a fair share for every partner in the G7. They all contribute to this $50 billion um, loan that is given to Ukraine in addition. But what I think is more important that we discuss with our American friends also the fact that Russia is not only a threat to Europe, but a threat to the global security as a whole. Because Russia is not only an autocratic state, it is threatening democracies, but it is also increasingly becoming aligned with others like Iran, North Korea, and together with China, fueling this war. And I think this is an argument where we also have to be very clear with our American friends. We see that technology from China and Iran is used by Russia on the battlefield. This shows that the security of the Indo-Pacific and Europe are interconnected, and so are the European and the United States' interests in this cause.